What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and today we're going to be taking a look at Ubuntu 15.10. Oftentimes in the Linux community I feel as though every time a Linux distro is revised or updated uh, users are looking for massive overhauls in UI as well as laundry lists of new features and enhancements. Now you can definitely say if you're an Ubuntu fan that the canonical team goes against the grain in this regard. Uh, one of my biggest gripes, I think, with Unity and with the direction of Ubuntu since 11.04, and again, we're in uh, you know, revision 15.10 right now, so that represents almost five years worth of releases. Um, if you look at Ubuntu uh, 11.04 and, and compare it visually to Ubuntu 15.10, there is very little differences. The dash has over has overgone uh, some overhauls. There's been some slight tweaks um, here and there. But if you directly compare 11.04 to 15.10, in my opinion, in five years, it doesn't represent a ton of advancement. Um, so we've all been looking for that unicorn, which is Unity 8 and uh, Mir that has been promised now for the last two or three releases. Uh, we're not gonna see that here in Ubuntu 15.10. Uh, we're gonna see um, some minor, minor updates. Uh, we're gonna head over to the Ubuntu Wiki and we're gonna look at some of the changes that they've listed themselves. Uh, so of course, with every new release, we have package updates. So applications have been updated to their, uh, not necessarily the most bleeding edge version, but uh, stable, uh, stable version, and again, uh, Ubuntu pulls from Debian testing, so uh, keep that in mind. Whatever packages are in Debian testing at the time of release is what we pull from. Linux kernel is uh, 4.2, all right, so it is an updated kernel. The Ubuntu desktop, uh, we're still using Unity 7. Again, I mentioned we are not, we are not at Unity version 8 yet, um, so if we come over here to our terminal, We see we're at Unity version 7.3.2. There's been some uh, bugs that have been fixed uh, in this particular release with the with Unity, uh, but that's pretty much it in terms of um, Unity itself. Uh, we have Firefox that's updated to version 41. Uh, if you're using the Mate desktop, you're updated to version 1.10. Most of the known platform is now based on version 3.16, which is actually old considering we're at version 3.18. Blue Man 2.0 uh, is now included and used by several flavors. Um, version uh, it now so we now support the new Steam controller as well, LibreOffice, so on and so forth. Um, very 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 small list of features and enhancements in this release, as you can tell. Uh, again, uh, one of the additions with the updated versions of GNOME is we're ditching the overlay scroll bars that Ubuntu had released in favor of the GNOME scroll bars, which are based on GTK3. However, there are some minor inconsistencies. When you open an application such as Firefox, you see that they're using the old scroll bars based on GTK2. So one of the impressions that I've gotten uh, since running Ubuntu 15.10, and I am using it on my main production machine, is that this is basically a snapshot upgrade of Ubuntu 15.04. So if you have 15.04 installed on your computer and uh, you are interested to see the changes and the differences visually, you're gonna see very little outside of a wallpaper update and these scroll bars uh, because uh, Ubuntu 15.10 really brings no visual changes as Unity uh, and everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, however, under the hood, you do get an updated kernel, which you could update man manually yourself in Ubuntu 15.04 if you'd like. So unless you have some real need of bleeding, you know, bleeding edge, and I, and I say that with air quotes, um, I mean bleeding edge in terms of Ubuntu bleeding edge packages, um, then there really is no huge reason for you to upgrade to Ubuntu 15.10. Uh, this particular release is going to be supported for nine months. And, you know, just like in the past few, two or three releases, uh, Unity 8 and Mir is slated for the 16.04 release. Um, again, that's the unicorn that everyone's been chasing. From what I've seen of Unity 8, it does bring some, you know, definite changes to Unity that I would consider um, the first major upgrade to the Unity interface 
in a very long time. I also failed to mention the Compiz, which is the back end for Unity, has been updated. Uh, I'd like to see them migrate away from Compiz, considering the project is um, fairly dead. I'd like to see them bring uh, Unity into more of the modern um, uh, technologies. Compiz has been around for quite a long time and has only been kept on life support, so it could be uh, so Unity could survive, because Unity is simply a Compiz plugin. Um, however, uh, I'd like to see them migrate away from that eventually into the future. So uh, my synopsis of Ubuntu 15.10 uh, is pretty much business as usual. You can tell there was very, very little effort put into uh, this release. It is simply just a snapshot update of 15.04 with a newer kernel. Uh, we can see that a lot of the resources and time is being spent into Convergence, Unity 8, Mir, specifically the mobile platform. Uh, that's been my biggest gripe. All along, I feel like uh, the Ubuntu and Canonical team gave it a go on the desktop, weren't successful, and now are pouring all their energies into the mobile platform, which is a highly competitive platform, mainly run by Apple and Android. Uh, and I feel as though the, the majority of, of the followers uh, that Unity has is on the desktop, and we need to really bring our focuses back on the desktop and make a compelling argument for Linux and a compelling argument for Ubuntu, uh, which we've yet to be able to do. And I feel like Convergence can do that, but we need to bring our attentions back on the desktop. Um, again, uh, I would challenge anyone to directly compare side-by-side -side Ubuntu 11.04 to 15.10. Some would argue, uh, again, that there's been a lot of major changes, and I would agree to a point, but to me, Unity is still very much in the infancy. Um, I think these lenses and the lens idea is, I don't know, chunky. It, it doesn't seem modern to me, to, and I guess modern is, um, uh, something that seems modern is, is going to be dependent upon uh, each person's individual perspective. However, you know the look and feel of Unity to me seems dated. Um, have I've gone back to the fit and finish and polish of of Ubuntu in the past? But I'm gonna say it again. You know things. If this is going to be a professional desktop, um, I think that there needs to be some some updates here. Uh, for example, you know just visually the way these things uh, look. You know, I think this theme looks very old. I think that, you know, the way that the panel and the dash here intersect, it just looks, it looks blocky. It doesn't look polished. There is no fit and finish to it. Um, the way these, uh, you know, the the filters work in a way, in a way these lenses work to me, um, can definitely use some some tweaking and updating in my opinion as well. Um, but if you're somebody who doesn't like a ton of change then uh, you know this may be the release for you and uh playing devil's advocate here i've been running ubuntu 15.10 as my daily because honestly i've been extremely busy and i don't have time to fuss over things i need something that's easy to install and can get up and running very quickly without me having to spend a lot of time tweaking maintaining and fixing broken um uh, fixing broken pieces of the operating system. So Ubuntu has accomplished that. It's been fairly stable for me since I've been running it, and I haven't had any major issues there. So in terms of stability, it's been pretty good. Uh, so, you know, for me, I, I guess I'm just ready for Ubuntu's next big thing. I'm ready for uh, Unity to finally be what we all thought it was going to be when it was introduced. I think it was kind of rushed initially back in 11.04, and we've been having to uh, go through the growing pains of Unity since that release. I'm hoping Unity 8 finally feels like we've arrived in terms of the project, uh, but we'll have to see. I will be reviewing some daily uh, images of 1604 to see the progress, so stay tuned for that. Um, but this is my review of Ubuntu 15.10. Very short list of changes. Uh, so again, if you want some updated packages, an updated kernel, and you're running an older version of Ubuntu pre-15, then 15.10 is a safe one to install. Again, just keep in mind it only has a nine-month support cycle. All right, guys. 
That's about it. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think if you're running Ubuntu 15.10 and what you would like to see out of Unity and the Unity project moving forward. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and we will catch you later.